All right, folks. So we're going to take a look at the POC Rock. Basically, it's a portable little amp here um, with effects, drum beats, tuner, and some other things here. We've got different amp settings, uh, clean channel, overdrive, distortion, crunch, fuzz, and a metal. I'm guessing by the abbreviations here because it doesn't really explain it anywhere, but pretty self-explanatory if you can look at those. I hope you can see them. Um, and then we have a tone knob here. The gain. Now I noticed that the gain doesn't really do anything when it's in clean channel, but the other channels it does. Um, then we have a cap, a cabinet simulator on and off. The power button on and off as well. Uh, a volume control. And then we have headphone output and just a regular uh, guitar cable output. Right now I'm, I'm running into a wireless speaker I have here, which sounds really good with it. Just a Bluetooth uh, speaker with an auxiliary in. So anyways, um, then over here we have the uh, chorus, flanger, uh, phaser, and tremolo. And delay, echo, room, and hall. Uh, right here, we have presets, preset sounds, and then you can save pat your own patches as well. Player for the drum beat. Volume for the drum beat. Tempo for the drum beat. Now the tempo thing is kind of weird because it's not a tempo. They have all the drum beats listed in here with the default tempos. And they go to their default tempos when you, when you turn on the beat. And then you can change the tempo with this thing here, which is more of like a, the numbering doesn't really make sense, it says 32. So anyways, I'm not gonna get too far into the beats right now. Just wanna give you a quick overview. Um, another thing when you have your own patches, or the patches, when you have patches like this, so. Uh, you can't change anything within that patch. These controls do nothing to the patches, like presets, like glued in. Um, you can make your own patches and store them, but... So, we'll go over some patches in a second here. So, um, a couple other things I've been doing this demo. I wanted to see how it worked with distortion pedal I have here, um, some phaser, and I got a harmonic square, which is a pitch shifter pedal over here, which you can't really see, it's kind of off the screen at the moment. Um, and so we're just gonna go through, play some sounds, and then I'll give you a more, and uh, more of my final thoughts at the end here. So let's begin. Okay, so we have the clean channel on at the moment. We have the tone back center, all effects off. Bridge and neck pickup, single coil mode, outer coils here, the coil uh, splitting guitar. So anyways, let's go through some sounds. That's a very nice clean sound, as you can see. Um, then we have the overdrive, or overdrive channel. Put the bridge or neck pickup on, I mean, the bridge pickup on. Thank you. 
buzz. So that's just a quick overview of the different channels here, the drive channels. Um, back to clean. And then we have our echo or delay. setting room reverb reverb so let's put on turn that off and put on a little bit of the chorus then we have the flanger So I'm just, again just going through some, you know, everything real quick here, and then we have the, the presets. Um, as I said before, you can't really change anything. They're just pretty much presets that you can't add more reverb to or nothing or more delay. They just are what they are. So it's, I'm not gonna run through all of them. Check my other video for that. And let's check them out, some of them. So there you go, just a few of those. Um, all in all, I believe there's 32, let me see here, 32 of those. 
uh, 16 factory presets and 16 user presets that you can send. Um, it says 40 drum patterns, but technically it is 34 because the rest are metrodomes and different time signatures and things like that. Which, by the way, there's a metrodome in there as well. Um, let's, let's take a look at some other things here. We have the tuner. See, it's a little sharp, and then it gets, when it gets to the full, it's like a full eight. So it'd be E8. Anyways, so that's the tuner. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to do the, let's turn on a clean channel. The patch off. There's some pedals on here. So that's obviously the clean channel there. With a little echo or delay on there. Anyways, let's throw some uh, octave pedal on there. So pretty cool stuff. Um, uh, some of my, uh, I guess, cons to me at least uh, is that the chorus flanger and the phaser are kind of weird to me, um, but they get by. You know, it's kind of a practice amp thing, kind of take with you on the fly. Have great lot of fun with um that's why i hooked some pedals up to see how that worked as well which is really cool that the actual pedals at least into the clean channel on here sound pretty decent really good actually um so you can have you know lots of fun with this thing even without the pedals obviously you, know, you just have to use the pedals you got your own different fuzz and stuff on here uh cool settings that's the fuzz from there. It's had an octave on there, octave pedal. So really cool. I mean, that's with a little the delay as well. Uh, one thing I did notice too, I guess there's like a noise gate kind of built into it as well. Because it does kind of Cut the noise out until you play. Just instantly goes away. So, um, again, really cool pedal. Not even a pedal, I'm sorry, not even a pedal. It's not a pedal, in fact, there's no on and off switch, except for the one back here. I was just using it with pedals to demonstrate some other things you can do with it. Um, 
I didn't even get into the drums really here, but uh, there's a whole list of drums. Like I said, like 30, 34 beats all together um, to play along with. Again, the tempo thing is kind of weird. It's actually good to... idea what the tempo just trying to it says 26 there so drums are a little low there with me playing so I could turn the volume up. But anyways, again, lots of cool stuff. Uh, and also has an auxiliary in as well. So you can play, plug your uh, phone into it or whatever, play along with songs and whatnot. So overall, especially for the price, you can't beat it. It's a real great uh, little amp here. Uh, take with you, travel around. Um, also, I forgot to mention that you can use AA, AAA batteries, two AAA batteries, get right in the back here. And you have a belt clip, which can go on the strap as well. But I found that on a putting on a belt or my guitar strap, it was kind of hard to control. So I'll just leave it as so, as it is. And, you know, the size of it is perfect for pretty much anything, I mean, it is made of plastic, but it's adorable plastic. It's, you know, overall, again, great bang for the buck and a great little amp. Take around with you, a travel little amp. All right, so that's all for now, and I will talk to you soon.